Happy Thursday. I uh, just wanted to touch base with you as I prepare for uh, Hurricane Delta and the possibilities. Um, I was out here thinking because it's uh, causing a, a bit of some uh, allergy issues for me here. And so uh, I wanted to talk about what, I c what you can do to help. Uh, with allergies and, and just help boost your immune system as we go through these this season change uh, We got cold and flu season coming upon us and so things that we can do to prepare uh, for you know this time of year uh, if you're fortunate enough to be in California, I love LA, miss you so much. Um, here in Louisiana where it gets a bit cold and being in the woods and, and around all the, and the middle of nature or somewhat the country. I'm told this is not the country, but for me it is. Um, to, you know, uh, help get through this a little more easily you know we want to make sure and keep our exercise up you want to do your cardio um, uh, you know they recommend 30 minutes a day five days a week um, you know do what you can do you know if you can do a little more do a little more you know just do what you can do just get it in just do it watch what you eat um, you know seasonal foods there's a reason why foods grow in certain seasons because they supply our bodies with what's needed for that season those uh the nutrition that we need the vitamins for that we need for that particular season so you want to be mindful of seasonal foods if you're living in the midwest uh you know where it's cold and you know it's snowing you know light foods coming from from Latin America or from from the West Coast aren't going to help you very much and aren't going to supply your body with the things that are needed to help you get through that season. Uh, we generally, during colder seasons, you want heavier foods to keep us warm, uh, keep us insulated. It's just like, you know, the hibernation uh, of bears you know we as people as humans you know we have we go through these same cycles so you all always want to keep that in mind uh when you're eating um you know just um uh, you know always you know uh consider nature when you're looking at your health because it has a lot to do with it um i have allergies and a lot of people do uh, especially this time of year with the trees and the plants on um, this fall weather coming uh, cold weather coming uh, so I want to make sure that I eat a lot of foods that are are um, are um, ah, la, 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 what am I trying to say I'm, I'm sorry I'm hearing these little noises and I'm still a little freaked out from the snake the other day so um, anyway, uh, okay, so I want to, uh, intake foods that, uh, help with inflammation. Um, you know, the turmeric as a spice is, and curry is like ugh, the best. And I put it in my oatmeal, I put it in everything. I cook with it. Um, I, I make sure that, that I keep that as a staple in, in my foods. I, I try not to eat things that build um, too much uh, inflammation like sugar you know it's not a good not thing too much sugar can can uh, it's not good for you anyway but it can also increase inflammation so um, you know I just really want to be really careful uh, too much meat you know also can can if you're a meat eater uh, or too much starch too much uh, of the white vegetables or high starchy vegetables like corn uh, you want to be very careful uh, of eating um if you and if you like you know we can always have a conversation about this if you're interested so just you know, shoot me a, a email uh d the letter d r a g i n health 
uh, at gmail.com. Shoot me an email and I can send you some information. Uh, anyway, also a good thing as far as allergies and getting through, you know, a uh, tough season uh, is I use a neti pot and clean my, my nose. Always uh, with say just basic saline solution, nothing special. Uh, if it's really bad, if I'm having headaches or something like that, I'll get some eucalypt, add a little eucalyptus oil or some peppermint. Love, love, love peppermint. And I generally like to wear peppermint anyway. It helps. Uh, not only does it smell good, but it helps uh, with headaches. It helps uh, open my nasal passages. Um, and all those kinds of things so uh, i also practice face guasha which is awesome 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 when you're having uh sinus and congestion issues um so i have a video on that if you're interested i can shoot it over to you so anyway contact me uh if you have any questions or would like to discuss anything um i am d reagan certified holistic health coach and i'll be more than happy to help you so uh you know pray for us uh, pray for the nation as we go through this trying time of covid you know we want to be extra careful wear your mask uh practice social distancing uh very 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 important uh, these are things that we can do to help stop the spread of this very ugly virus especially with flu season and cold season being upon us so anyway have a great day have a great weekend and i will connect with you soon